Hey guys, and welcome to That's Not Garbage, the show where we fix shit. Today we're going to fix an Inspiron one that has no video at all, just an orange light when you press the power button. And today we're going to have a white light and picture. Here we go. Okay, friends, we're looking at the back side of a Dell Inspiron one. This is a model 2305. I have the case off and the aluminum cover, which is right there, off. <coughs> And I'm not going to go into that because you can find other explanations online to remove it. And you can figure it out yourself. It starts with the screws in the bottom for the leg that uh, make this pop off, the whole back pop off. There's two screws in the bottom. Then there's a few more screws that make the whole legs come off. And then there's just a couple more screws that make the rest come off. And it's pretty easy to figure out. This is the heat sink and fan. That's the fan. This is the heat sink. goes on the GPU and CPU right there. It's just some simple screws and it pops up, but that's where the problem lies. I'm gonna show you that right now. The thermal paste on the CPU and GPU, okay, right here, gets dry and turns into a powdery crap, okay, right here. Just this dusty nothing. It's supposed to be a paste and it's not. So what happens is it overheats and the overheating can cause little micro problems in the solder. And this is the GPU right here. That's just giving you a picture. So I have scraped off the dry, crappy paste from the CPU and GPU and I've done it also on here this used to have all this crusty crappy crud on it literally just take your finger and just just rub it off and just take your finger and just 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 rub it all off okay and then this is the interesting part and you're gonna make fun of me but it's the truth there's another person here on YouTube that I've seen do this exact same method and it worked you are going to take a heat gun I did mine on low for several seconds, maybe six, seven, eight, nine seconds, real kind of close to it. I'm talking like a half an inch away. And then I did it on high, about a half an inch away. I just went down like this and just kind of around it, come up a little bit, around it, low and high. After doing that, I plugged it in and tested it. Now your machine probably has an orange light when you plug it in, right there, it glows orange. So watch what happens now when I plug it in. Oh, and nothing because I haven't pressed it yet. But I, I'm only going to let it run for a moment because without the heat sink and fan, it can really seriously overheat and, and destroy things. But when you press the button now, you'll notice the light turns white, not orange. And the screen does, in fact, turn on. I'm going to immediately unplug it as to not overheat anything. So, there you go. That's your fix. Heat this up. It causes the solder to, to reflow, causes it to get soft again and close up any of those little micro problems. But what you're gonna to need to do now is get paste and thermal paste, which you can get uh, online, almost any eBay, Amazon, any computer store, um, probably even places like Best Buy sell it. And you're just gonna put a little of that thermal paste right on the GPU right there. Sorry for the fuzziness, I'm filming on an iPad. And then you're gonna put the thermal paste here on the CPU itself. This basically makes a good connection between the heat sink and the CPU, and it transfers the heat across this paste into the heat sink, which then dissipates it. So there you go. There's your fresh thermal paste. It should last you the life of the computer unless you really use it for a long time. Put the heat sink back on, close it all up and your machine is ready to go. So there you go, it's crazy, but open this machine up carefully. It's very simple, just a bunch of very obvious screws. Everything comes off nice and easily, there's no prying involved. Take off the heat sink and fan. You might feel like this part is stuck a little bit, only because of that paste, that's all. So you can take a little screwdriver or something, just a little pressure, a little pressure and pop it up. Don't let the screwdriver touch the motherboard. You, scra you scrape the motherboard, you're screwed, okay? So don't do that. But um, if it's on here and it's stuck, if you can get a little something under it, just get a little pop, it should right up. No problem whatsoever. So there you go. There's your Dallas Brown 1 2305 no video fix. Uh, thanks for watching and let me know if you do it. Bye. You can fan back on. You'll see it's just those silver screws. One, two, three, four of them. And it goes all over here. And the fan isn't actually physically attached. There's just a little 
like a little bit of tape connecting the fan to the heat sink. It's really odd. The actual heat sink screws are this one right here. And um, that's it. But uh, I took the fan off as well, which is one, two screws. So one screw there, um, the four screws here, and then this comes off, little thermal paste, a uh, little hot air with your heat gun. Plug it back in, when you press the power button, you should see a white light instead of an orange light. And now you're gonna see Dell Inspiron one and it's ready to go. I did pull the BIOS battery, so I'm gonna get all kinds of errors that I'm just gonna to have to straighten out. And there's no keyboard or mouse plugged in. But uh, resuming Windows. Not so much for pulling the BIOS battery. It's already pretty happy, and it's resuming Windows. For privacy purposes, I'll end this video now. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and go fix your computer.